Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the large intestines. After passing through the small intestines, food travels into the large intestines. Your large intestines is roughly 9 feet in length, but gets its name because it has a larger diameter than the small intestines. Your large intestine is also called the colon. The large intestine is divided into several sections. The beginning section is called the cecum. Food from the small intestine travels to the cecum. The cecum is a little like a pouch and receives food material called chyme from the small intestines at the ileum. From the cecum, food travels upward into the colon. Water and salt is absorbed in the colon. The next section is a curved section called the sigmoid. The food that once was chyme has now been converted into feces and it is stored in the sigmoid until it travels to the rectum and then exits the body. One of the main jobs of the large intestine is to absorb water. In addition, vitamin K is produced in the colon with the help of bacteria. Vitamin K helps you clot blood, it helps to build bones, and it aids in keeping your insulin levels correct. So there are the large intestines, another stop along the digestive tract. Thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.